Welcome back to Get Real. I'm your host, Christy Frank. Today we have a special expert and author, Mr. Jeffrey Jenkins. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Christy. So, Jeffrey, uh, tell us a little about yourself and your business. Um, I'm a bankruptcy attorney in New Jersey, and uh, I have a law firm there. Um, we represent consumer debtors, file bankruptcies for people who are having a tough time financially. And uh, a little bit about me, first of all, I, uh, I went to West Point. I graduated, uh, served our country for eight and a half years as an infantry officer, and uh, went to jump school, ranger school, French commando school. <laughs> Pretty extreme, look at yeah. you. <laughs> and then I escaped and went to law school at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. Um, graduated in 84 with a Juris Doctor degree. Um, I got admitted to the bars in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. And that's kind of about me. As far as my firm's concerned, uh, I started it about 30 years ago. It's called Jenkins and Clayman, and I'm the senior partner. Uh, we have five offices throughout the lower two-thirds of New Jersey. Um, over the last 20 years, we've generally filed more bankruptcies than any other firm in New Jersey. And uh, again, we just represent consumers having a tough time financially. So why did you get into bankruptcy law? What drew you there? Well, when I was in law school and working for law firms uh, in Philadelphia and South Jersey, I spent a lot of time in the law library um, or in my office writing things, you know, and it was very different going from being an army officer to being a worker bee hmm. in a large law firm. And finally I said, that's it. You know, I want to start my own law firm. And so I did. Excellent. So your firm does some pretty unique things. Let's hear about some of them. Okay. The, the real strength of our firm is that we do one thing and we do it very well, and that's consumer bankruptcy law. And it's a complicated area of the law, and our whole firm takes care of each client, so everybody has a certain job to do to help the client along. And many times you find yourself in court, you might be facing a big mortgage company, a big car company like GMAC, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, something like that, and they've got a big law firm um, representing them. And we never feel intimidated because we know more about the bankruptcy code than whoever's there from the big law firm. And so we usually win. And that feels really good to be up against a, a major opponent like that and come out on top for poor little Mr. Smith, who you're representing. Yes. Can you tell us some more specific stories of how you've really truly helped people? Sure. Over the last 30 years, I probably filed tens of thousands of bankruptcies and had a lot of remarkable stories along the way. But one particular one sticks in my mind. Um, I had a client, Christy, he was uh, a middle-aged man, owed more than $200,000 in taxes. And he went to see the IRS to see if he could get a payment plan going or something, and that didn't work out. He went to see an accountant, and that didn't work out either. So he came to see me. And I looked at his situation, and it, it seemed that legally, we could get rid of about $200,000 of what he owed in taxes. Wow, wow. So I filed a bankruptcy for him, and the day that we had court, the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office sent somebody up from Washington, D.C. just for that case, uh, because there's an area of the law that was a little iffy. <laughs> um, in any event, I won, and the client was really happy. We got rid of $200,000 of income taxes. He had to pay 12000 back without interest, without penalties, through the Chapter 13 trustee. And uh, so it was a great result. And I remember it also because one of my daughters was in court with me that day. And um, she said, Dad, I knew it was an important case when the other attorney said he represented the United States of America. <laughs> That's a, a true success and you, you've changed his whole life. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Jeff, what's your best piece of advice to help people thrive in today's economy? Well. Christy, today we live in uncertain times, times that are changing, and it seems that every year things change faster and faster. And um, the things that we used to rely on don't seem to be there anymore. 
you know, people can't go and work for IBM for 30 years, retire, get a good pension. Uh, we don't have the secure jobs like we used to. Houses aren't going up in value every year. They're going up, down, up, down. So there is a lot of change, a lot of uncertainty. And my answer would be a financial one because that's generally what I deal with with my clients. And I would say to people to be successful in today's environment, the thing that I would recommend would be to be conservative financially. Hmm. So if you're having a good year, that, that's not the time to go out and spend every last dime you have on that truck that you want. That's the time to take some money and put it away for the bad years. And if you look at uh, some of the major companies that have done well in this country lately, they've all followed that exact same example. You know, whether it's um, uh, Southwest Airlines or Microsoft or Intel or Progressive Insurance, they've squirreled money away in the good times and use it in the bad times, and they've restricted their growth in good years. Even though they could have grown exponentially, they wouldn't do it because they were concerned what would happen the following year if things didn't go well. And I would give people that same advice. That's excellent. So, Jeffrey, tell us how people can get a hold of you and find out more about working with you. Okay. I think we have information on the screen about my website and my phone number, so you can Email us at the website, call us at the phone number anytime. We're happy to talk to you for as long as it takes to see if doing a bankruptcy is appropriate, if that'll help you, and if so, how it'll work. Um, I've written a book that we have right here Excellent. very recently, and I did that for potential clients and prospective new clients, just to talk generally in simple terms about bankruptcy and let them kind of get an idea of what it's about. Excellent. Thank you so much for being here on Get Real. It's been a pleasure. Okay, thanks, Christy. Thank you.